Art as therapy, the healing power of creativity. Whether you're feeling sad, anxious, stressed, overwhelmed, or you're facing any physical, mental, or emotional struggle, art is the best therapy for you to feel instantly better. In today's episode, I'm going to share with you the top 10 benefits on practicing art as therapy. Hi, I'm Lucy and welcome to the Explosive Behind the Scenes Access to the Lucy Shop Art Gallery. Today's Art Talk episode is not only helpful, but it's extremely beneficial to everybody. Whether you're an artist or you enjoy art or you're struggling with any physical, emotional or mental struggle, art as therapy is the best solution for you. As an ex-life coach and motivational coach and a full-time artist right now for several years, I can guarantee you that art as a therapy is the best solution for all kinds of struggle. And it's scientifically proven as well. Now, before we dive deep into the 10 benefits of art therapy, I would like to share with you a very simple exercise that can be considered as art therapy that you can apply at home for you to feel better, whether you're struggling physically, emotionally, or mentally. This exercise is very easy and everybody can do it. As practicing any kind of art, whether you like to paint, do ceramics, pottery, or even very simple art and craft activity, it can be considered as art therapy exercise. It doesn't matter what's the style, what you enjoy doing, as long as you love doing this kind of art activity, because this activity is going to trigger your creativity, which is going to help you express your emotions, your feelings, your anxiety, your stress, your worried, and sometimes your inner unconscious thoughts as well. So choose whether Whatever kind of art exercise you enjoy, it could be painting and you don't have to be an artist or you don't have to have any kind of artistic background. You can simply splash paint all over the canvas or draw any kind of sketches. But what I recommend is to use colors as much as you can and you can even add any arts and craft supplies to improve your creativity and make this exercise as fun as possible. Now let's directly jump into it and start with benefit number one on practicing art as therapy. Stress reduction. Creating art can be a powerful way to reduce stress and promote relaxation. Engaging in creative activities helps individuals focus on the present moment, similar to mindfulness practices and meditation. Number two, emotional expression. Art provides a safe and non-verbal outlet for expressing emotions, especially for those who find it difficult to articulate their feelings and thoughts through words. Number three, enhanced mental clarity. Engaging in creative activities can help clear the mind and improve focus. It allows individuals to process thoughts and emotions in a structured manner. Number four, Improved self-esteem. Completing an art project can boost self-esteem and confidence. The sense of accomplishment for creating something unique can positively impact one's self-worth. Number five, therapeutic distraction. Art can serve as a health distraction from negative thoughts and experiences. It provides a constructive way to cope with challenging emotions and situations. Practicing art as therapy is a wonderful experience and can give you an instant result just from your first practice. But for some people, it could be a little bit challenging. And the best solution for that is to participate in art therapy workshops. And to make it even easier for you, this weekend, I'm going to be launching my first art as therapy workshop in the Lucy Shop Art Gallery so you can be part of it and enjoy this wonderful experience. It's going to be a very nice and safe environment where you can splash paint and enjoy your creativity, unleash your inner thoughts and definitely experience something very unique for the first time. In addition, a very delicious brunch and wonderful art gallery tours and we're gonna share tons of very nice experiences all together so if you want to stay up to date and book your spot immediately the moment i launch my art as therapy workshop event follow me on my instagram the lucy shop art gallery and book your spot as soon as possible now moving on to benefit number six from practicing art as therapy 
reduced anxiety. The repetitive actions involved in creating art, such as drawing or painting or any kind of arts and crafts, can have a calming effect and reduce anxiety levels. It allows for a focused and meditative state that can soothe the mind. Number seven, social and personal connection. Participating in group art activities or art workshops can foster social connections and reduce feelings of isolation. Sharing creative experiences can build a sense of community. And regarding the personal connection, definitely in art as therapy exercises, you will be more connected to your feelings, emotions, and your unconscious mind, and you will be able to express everything in your mind, heart, and soul. Number eight, physical rehabilitation. For individuals recovering from physical injuries or illnesses, art therapy can aid in improving motor skills and coordination. It provides a gentle way to regain physical function. Number nine, trauma processing. Art therapy can be particularly beneficial for individuals who have experienced trauma. Creating art allows for the exploration and processing of traumatic experiences in a controlled and supportive environment. And the last, number 10, personal insight and growth. Engaging in art can lead to greater self-awareness and personal insight. It can encourage reflection and exploration of one's inner world, leading to personal growth and development. Practicing art as therapy is a very enjoyable experience. Do not complicate it, do not overthink, just go with the flow. Do not link it to psychology and trauma and emotions and trying to read what did you paint. It's nice if you're able to do that, but make it very fun, enjoy it. And you can practice art as therapy every single day, or you can make it as a weekly practice, or you can do it anytime you feel you want to. Make it fun, enjoyable, use as much colors as you can, and don't worry about the result. The purpose of it is letting your emotions, your feelings, and your unconscious mind, everything on that canvas or on that piece of art that you are creating. Everybody can practice art as therapy, even artists. Artists do face artist block in their career, and I faced that for two months. And the best way for me to overcome an artist block and to be able to create again is to practice art as therapy. And instantly, I felt so much better. If you are a student, a teenager, a mom, a father, a businessman, a senior, especially if your work requires a lot of stress, physical and mental effort, I really advise you to give it a try. Just bring a canvas, choose your favorite colors and start splashing paint all over your canvas. Do whatever you feel like. it. There's no rules in creating art and consider it your masterpiece. This is the best exercise that you can apply anytime anywhere make sure the environment that where you are to create your masterpiece is a very safe soothing and relaxing environment i hope this episode was very beneficial for you if you enjoy it and if you like it give it a like and subscribe to my youtube channel for more interesting and beneficial art talk episodes and don't forget if you want to be part of this art as therapy workshop event that's happening soon at the lucy shop art gallery follow me on my instagram account to be the first to participate in this exclusive and unique art therapy workshop thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time